Before we start, uh, <clears throat> I just want to say that uh, welcome everybody to the 2015 Branch 860 retirement party. I hope you folks all can enjoy yourselves tonight. Uh, this banquet is always set up for a special reason and that's for the retirees and also for the guests and their uh, uh, special guest speakers and the guests. I'm going to bring up right now Alvin to, uh, to the blessing of the fool and uh, I'll give the gist of a couple more seconds for everybody to get seats. Can everybody hear me out there? Okay, uh, please bow your heads in prayer. Dearest Heavenly Father, we come to you in thankfulness for the many years of service and unionism given by our fellow brothers and sisters who we recognize this evening. We thank you for the long-term contributions that they have made to this country, the Postal Service, and this great union by their execution of their daily tasks, in their loyalty to our organization, and in their sharing of their experience and wisdom with others. We are appreciative of their hard work and dedication. They have adapted to many changes over the years and have made many friends with the people that they have served. They have been a mentor and friend to their fellow employees and we thank you, Lord, for this that you have made possible. We ask that you provide them with good health during this next phase of their journey that lies ahead Keep them vigorous in body, mind, soul, and spirit, especially the mind. <laughs> Lord, we also ask that you bless the hands that have prepared all this wonderful food. Please let it nourish our and strengthen us. And Lord, in closing, please allow us safe passage home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Alvin. Um, that was a beautiful prayer. <laughs> so, um, right now we're going to um, have our backup captain. Her name is Shane, and she will be guiding all the tables up to the buffet to my right.
Okay, uh, we're at this point of our banquet that we're going to um, start. And um, just like to um, say that we have some uh, good people that uh, have arrived here uh, from the mainland. And we'd like to recognize them. So, National Business Agent, Region 1 from Ontario, California, Chris Jackson. NLC, Director of Safety and Health from Washington, D.C. You all know him, Mr. Manny Peralta. NAPS President and Safety Manager, Chuck Long. APWU Local President, APW Local Vice President, Mini Ortiz and Gino Roy Ava. We also have another special guest on our table. This is Jackie Hippo, wife of the late Sam Hippo and her guest daughter, Tony Walker. <laughs> and our last of our uh, guests is uh, the district safety team, Mike McGinn. <laughs> this time we're going to call upon Chris Jackson uh, to be one of our speakers right now. I'd like to say congratulations to all the new retirees who retired this year. Welcome to the club and to also all the retirees, all who's here tonight for this retirement dinner that is basically your night that the branch is recognizing each and every one of you by having this dinner for you. How many CCAs do we have in this room? Uh, the technology we're looking at today is like Amazon how we are delivering parcels. Uh, that's one of our main uh, revenue that is coming through the post office. Uh, and part of what Amazon, it allows from the postal service wanted to talk about doing away with six day delivery. And now it's all about seven days delivery because of Amazon. You don't hear that talk about doing away with a Saturday or another day out of the week because now it's all about delivering Sunday and that's parcels. And our company is not stopping with Amazon. You're gonna see other big companies out there is getting into the business and won't they parcels delivered the same day where customers can go online because of the technology and order some type of merchandise and get it delivered by the letter carriers. But one thing I wanna talk about, you all probably heard about RIMS that the Postal Service had put forth, or DMS, Delivery Management System. This technology that is out now that the service is using to the letter carriers, I will say, don't get fearful of it. When the manager come to you and talk about they have a technology to see how long it's taking you out on the route, or how long you extended your lunch, or you break, Whatever technology they come out with is no different from a decade ago. All we got to do as letter carriers is just do our jobs and carry the route the way we pull it down, take your two 10 minutes break, and take your 30 minutes lunch. Don't worry about the intimidation factor because the service still have to follow the M39 section 134. Okay, they cannot spy on us, okay? so. Basically what I'm saying is this. With Amazon, 85% of the parcels got a, a barcode on it. That's one good thing about the technology. The company, the customer who purchased the merchandise package, they get to know what time the package was delivered that day. That is a good thing about this new technology. And also if a package gets misdelivered, they can pinpoint where that package was delivered 
with this new technology. So one thing, like I say, don't fear this technology. If management come to you and try to intimidate you, my office need to know by going through your officers where we can get that taken care of. Our type of work is changing. First class mail, mail volume is going down and it's the parcels that are going up. All we got to do as letter carriers just case up the mail in the morning, pull the route down and carry the route that the way we supposed to carry it. Take our two 10 minutes break, take your lunch, and whatever time it takes you to deliver the route is the time it takes you to deliver the route. Don't let them intimidate you and say you got to do it faster because they got this new technology, okay? Like I say, parcels has increased throughout the Postal Service, six days here to stay and seven days. The Senate Committee preserved the six day and appropriation uh, language. And the Senate, it will be going to the Senate. So I don't see nowhere that we're going to lose the six day. I will see seven days down the line where we have routes and our national president talked on that during the wrap session. That next negotiation we'll be looking at a bid that will covers cover the Sunday delivery of Amazon and down the line any other companies. Bids, full time, jobs. And the last thing I'm going to touch on is regarding the TSP. The Senate has rejected the proposal to reduce the interest rate of the G fund. That was a big, big, a big victory for us because once they start messing around with the TSP as far as the interest, how far will Congress go? The next step would, might be they might take away the matching funds from the FERS employees. So it was a big victory from my point of view that the G fund is protected. Other than that, thank you, God bless you all, and I'll turn it over back to the next speaker. Thank you, Chris. And now our next speaker, of course, doesn't uh, need too much of a big uh, introduction, but uh, let's bring up Mr. Manny Peralta, Jr. Buenas noches. Aloha. I uh, bring greetings from President Rolando and the Executive Council. All of them wishing to be here, and I was a lucky one, so uh, from them they just uh, sent a lot of love. Chris asked how many CCAs we had in the, in the audience, and it looked like we started with five, but three got promoted during the question. The race of the promotion. <laughs> How many career employees still active on the workroom floor do we have? Raise your hands. Still carrying mail right now. I go to a lot of retiree events. <coughs> Alvin, you can raise your hand. Thank you. <laughs> it's the one with the drink in the other hand. Okay. <laughs> I got to talk to them about EAP later. Um, when I travel the country and I see the retiree events, I am amazed at how few active letter carriers go out to the retiree events. And so I'm very glad to see a number of letter carriers that are still carrying mail to do that. Because if we don't honor our retirees, we are disrespecting what they had done before we arrived. And so frequently when I'm on a plane and I'm on an assignment throughout the states, and we're probably on the road about 40 weeks of the year, going someplace to a retiree event, an installation of officers, of some sort. When I sit next to somebody on a plane and they ask where you're going, I go on, going to a retiree event. Whether it's in the Dakotas, Hawaii, California, wherever. And you hear the words, why would you do that? What do you mean, why would I do that? Well, they're done. How can they contribute any further? Well, that's where many words start to come out on the plane. And you guys have been in the audience when I've talked to the 20 years that I was out here. And it amazes me that corporate America doesn't really care about what happens. Sometimes, when you look at human resources as it's labeled in America, it's treatment of employees as if they were disposable goods. They're not. Corporate America couldn't care less about you, or your benefits, your retirement, or your well-being. 
and they would not be held liable if it wasn't for legislation that has existed through the years to protect employees. And so as I wind up, I want to personally thank all of the retirees in this room who have struggled during their years, made our union stronger, and given us something that we're very proud of. God bless you and thank you. Thank you, many. Okay, well, first of all, thank you, Chris. Great speech. I'm glad you did it in a short time. <laughs> uh, Howard, you will stand on that side, and we're going to have the uh, the retirees. Okay, the first retiree, uh, 26 years of service out of the Kailua Post Office. How about a hand for Mr. Mark Andreco, please. <laughs> taking also 35 years 35 years I have 26 over here so this is um, back right here please the next uh, letter carrier okay is it 35 29 38 50 years okay 29 years of service out of downtown station Ernest Renal Three coming on the downtown station. Thirty years. Did I say it right, Crystal? Before I make a move. Oh, Crystal, thirty years. Thank you. I'll come to you. Okay. So, how about a hand for our three retirees? Michelle 
I don't think that it has any kind of influence on my decision, but Michal does work with me at Hawaii Kai Station. <laughs> but that doesn't matter because the, the role that she plays, not only as a steward, but she also like that addresses some of the grievances at the next level, which is my level, and she's done a fantastic job. Again, though, not to take away from any of the other stewards, which have done an awesome job this past year, because like, we want some great grievances. We want some great arbitrations as well. I mean, we set precedent, national precedent, I believe. You know, when we got actually a carrier back to work based on like the denial of what reasonable accommodations. Those of you, I mean, uh, you should sleep comfortably knowing that this union, this great union like that, is there to back you up. But you gotta be willing to take the time and talk to your steward. And so at this time, I'd like to thank Michelle and have her to come up and say a few words. It is a privilege and an honor to represent you. And I truly hope that you allow me to continue to be your voice and to fight your battles for many years to come. Thank you very much. Last but not least, the last word. But I don't know if Alvin did say that Michelle graduated from Leadership Academy this December in Washington, D.C. If you don't know what that means, um, they go up for a month in Washington. They're being taught everything. What, what I learned in like 10 years, they'll learn it in four weeks. So it's a real condensed, tough class. Alvin's also a graduate, and so is um, Joan Capino. So, anyway, let's go to the last award. Um, you know, we had some problems with our, our money a few years ago, and we passed that, and uh, we moved forward from that. And being the treasurer of, of the size branch, and we, we're continuously growing, it's very difficult. It's not like running a checkbook. It's scary. And you know, after we had the problem with uh, our former treasurer, we got a new treasurer, and he is the the winner of the Sam Hip Award, uh, Jason Shapiro. off the IRS to bonding us. So uh, without Jason doing a great job, he's keeping me out of jail. <laughs> I like this guy. last year. I also keep the bar open. <laughs> um, I also like to thank um, Howard for giving me this opportunity to be a treasurer and I'll keep doing the best that I can in the future. Um, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Alvin and uh, Howard, for that presentation. Now we're going to call upon Cynthia to make a uh, special presentation or an acknowledge uh, someone special in our audience. Um, I just wanted to thank, we have a special guest tonight. His name is Mike Kajiwara, and he's from the Hawaii Food Bank. And he um, is the director of product donation and he also coordinates our NALC food drives for the past eight years. Uh, thank you for inviting me tonight. Uh, I'll be babysitting in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, 
you know, as far as the uh, NLC food drive, I really enjoy uh, coordinating it with our uh, committee. I mean, you folks work hard all year round, and on this day, you folks can collect over half a million pounds of food in one day. How do you folks do that? It's amazing. I mean, looking at some numbers just off my head, I had a few drinks, but... <laughs> 16 years, you're looking at 6.2 million pounds of food. You're looking at 5.3 million meals provided in that 16 years. Eight years that I've been there, 4.2 million pounds. There was a 64% increase due to the committee uh, getting ideas by getting the plastic uh, bags. I got the easy job, getting the sponsors. 20 grand, no problem. I mean, you folks do a wonderful job. And for us, I mean, the food bank, we distribute uh, over 12 billion pounds a year. Last year we did that. And uh, I just want to say, on behalf of the Hawaii Food Bank, and the 287,000 individuals that we serve annually, thank you very much. Now our closing comments will, will be by Howard before we get into our tail end of our banquet, which is, of course, music and karaoke. So here's Howard. Okay, everybody, uh, Julie Shibashi, where is she? Yeah. You know, last year, Julie tried to get out of this retirement dinner, yeah? And if you guys don't know Julie, Julie was the first female to get an office at this branch. In fact, if you notice, the branch is mostly females as an executive board, mostly women. It was because of Julie Shibashi. She was a trendsetter. She always ask me politely, question me politely, most of the time. But uh, I just wanted to acknowledge Julie. Julie, can you please stand? Now, Julie's a shy lady. Now, Julie's a shy lady. And she's a big fighter and she did so much for us. She did so much for me. When I took over in 2000 as a president, you know, she was there like, what, 20 years before that, Julie? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Julie, I'm just kidding. She was 10, she was 10. But uh, she always would give me a, you know, positive, negative, whatever. She would tell me what I was doing wrong. Sometimes it was tough hearing it from her. And sometimes she gave me good advice. So I thank you, Julie, for being a part of the branch. And she, like I said, she thought she was, uh, not going to be able to get away from us this year. So, anyway, um, Fran Mayaloha is going to be next year. Fran, stand up. Fran retired. She didn't make the cut. Though. She didn't make the cut for this year, so she so she can be here next year. So put it on notice. Clayton Young, what do you say? Right away. Right. That's another uh, Zone 19. Uh, Fran used to work with my dad, so you know what that means. She looked good for 50. <laughs> so, um, before we end this, I'd like to thank Cynthia for doing such a great job. Uh, some years are shorter, some years are longer. This year is a shorter year. Next year, uh, if you haven't heard, this place is going to be shut down. They're going to make a restaurant out of here. So, no longer, it's gonna, we're not going to come here anyway. We're going to next year we'll be at the Okinawan Ballroom. Oh, no, no, it's Ballroom. But anyone you guys drive safe, thank you for coming out. I love this evening. I love all you guys. Thank you.